Well, thank you all so much for coming tonight. It's going to be wonderful. We're going to hear from uh, uh, five writers. I do have to, uh, one sad note is that one of our writers, Elizabeth Solomon, has uh, had a death in her family and is uh, getting ready to go home to Chicago, so she won't be here tonight. So the other five writers, Ingrid Lewis, Mike, Tim, and David will be reading. Um, as uh, Roland said, uh, for a brief, one brief season, when I arrived in Miami, I was a poetry professor. Because <laughs> Jim Hall had decided he would no longer write poetry, but would, would write thrillers. And uh, so I had his class, and three of the seven people that showed up for that class wanted to keep going, and so we did. It was first, it was Sunday afternoon at John's house in Hallandale. Pretty scary already. Uh, and then it became uh, eventually Friday nights, and we, and yeah, it started in 1990, uh, and then, um, we, for years, we just met out in the hallway on an AC2, uh, and sometimes the mosquitoes were so bad and the black flies that we'd have to leave. Eventually, somebody persuaded me to get a classroom to do, they actually asked permission to be there, so we did. Um, and then we couldn't hear each other, if you remember, if those of you who were there in the classroom, because the acoustics were so bad, couldn't even talk, so finally we got a nice place, and the school was helping us out. And so, 24 years. So the Friday night group, by the way, just to tell you what that is, it's uh, free and it's open to anyone in the community who wants to come and write. And, and uh, the commitment is you read other people's work and talk about it. And, and then we read yours and talk about yours. And we, re we read any genre from poetry to fiction and nonfiction. And uh, we've had plays, we've had screen plays and all that. Uh, and we're happy, we like it. We're all learning more about writing by doing this kind of thing. We've had people who are published their books out. Barbara Parker, the late, great Barbara Parker, used to come in when she was starting her next novel, come in and read it to us, and we'd straighten her out. And, <laughs> <laughs> um, and other writers, uh, Steve Almond is another one who was writing for the Miami uh, New Times, New Times uh, used to come on Saturday. At that time, Steve Almond, who's now like the hippest guy in uh, Biz, was writing uh, novels about Russian peasants. Uh, so I told him not, don't do that anymore. Uh, and uh, and people who are just beginning to write, and people who some people um, there's no you don't need to commit yourself to bringing things every week or anything like that. But just if you're interested, come and, and sit in. We meet every other Friday night uh, at AC two one ten at uh, the North Campus uh, at FIU. I'm going to um, just introduce uh, our first reader, um, Mike Cream, and then you all know that you're going to introduce the person following her. Okay, so you're going to have time to do that. <laughs> Mike Cream is a fellow base data uh, from Fall River, uh, just down the road from Worcester, uh, where I'm from. Uh, Mike got his MFA in fiction from uh, FIU. And never left. He showed up one day, and here he is. He's teaching now the associate director of the composition program uh, on the, uh, the MMC campus, and uh, uh, is a member that has been a member of the group for a long time. Writes uh, fiction, you know, uh, writes stories uh, set in Massachusetts, some of them, uh, and uh, which we'll hear about tonight. Uh, and uh, so, like reading. Thank, uh, welcome, Mike, up to the stage. 